to tell us how our brain works is Professor Darrell from Brighton and Sussex Medical School. Please welcome <laughs> Professor Darrell. <laughs> Brother Joanna. How are you doing? Hi, nice to see you. Hi, Hello, Joanna. Hi, uh... Now, how many parts does the brain have first? Mine yes. has about two. Has three. Does it? Bit at the front, yeah. called forebrain, bit in the middle, midbrain and hindbrain at the back. Okay. But there are loads of little parts within it, so they all interconnect with one another. And how much do we use? Do we use all of it? We all think that we only use 10%, because we've heard that myth, we only use 10% of our brain. But we use all of our brain, but not all at the same time. Okay, right. Now, these, what are these, are these pictures so This picture of your they? brain, yes. Is it? Yeah, a picture <laughs> of the, the outside and a picture of the inside of your brain. Right, have you got a few tests for me? Indeed I do. Okay. If I'm not going to get sued, I'm going to pinch you, first of all. Ah. Ouch! Why did that hurt so much? <laughs> so this is Paul's parietal lobe speaking now. That was James. <laughs> See, he's inside your head. Uh, um, so that's a bit that gives sensation. So when we touch something or we feel something, so in that particular case, a bit of pain, or if it's temperature, you put a hand on a hot plate or something, um, and you put it away very quickly, it's all that sensation that's Where going that? on in your mind. So it's about here. About so here. parietal means walls, right. so the sides of our heads oh. here. OK. Now, what's this? I'm going to so do you've got gymnastics, yeah. have I? Not quite, but you've got to walk along the beach. Joanna, you're better at this than me. No, you do this. Go on, you, do the pair of flip flop. No, no, no. It's your brain. <laughs> OK. So, what do you want me to do? So, just literally walk along it, and we're going to use a different part of your brain. Oh, that was very easy. <laughs> Far too easy. Do it again. Well, it's only a plank. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll turn it the other way. Do you want me to do me Olga Corbett? Oh, yes, absolutely. OK. Do you remember yes. who Olga Corbett oh, was? So... <laughs> yeah, I'll lock, 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 lock. Oh, now. OK, so... So this time we're using this bit of brain down here that looks a bit like a cauliflower. It's called the cerebellum, which basically means small brain, cos I used to think it was a little brain that sat underneath. So it's a cauliflower, but it's making you walk um, across there, all nicely coordinated. We're standing here, Joanna and I, yeah. posture. It's yeah. able to enable us to do that without sort of falling over. Mm, right, OK. And what, do you do, what does the brain do when we see something attractive? What do you mean, attractive? You know, like, sexy and, you know... <laughs> Well, palpitations oh, are going, shocking, going shocking. now. Absolutely. I can feel all my stents falling out. <laughs> <laughs> so this time, we've got a bit of the brain called the limbic system. Yeah. And the limbic system is controlling all of our emotions. So happy, sad. So if you saw a picture of Buster, yeah. nice and happy, that's yeah. it working. Yeah. Picture of Bert makes you angry. Right, bitter yeah, tears. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the bit that's working all the time. So all of our emotions come from this area called the limbic system. Okay, Joanna, have you got a question? Yes, I used to have a photographic memory, at least what I call a photographic memory, in that I seemed to be able to just read a page of something and it would stick right in. How does that happen? So people think that they've got photographic memories yeah. and everyone wants one. Yeah. That's the thing. There's no scientific basis to have one. It's more about the way we make connections. So if we've seen something that makes a bit quite an impact to us, we can somehow make those connections. A chess player can see which pieces are on the board and, and try and remember that. But we can't all do that. So I understand you're a bit of an artist yourself in terms yes. of wanting to paint yes. things like that. Well, you're in good company. Monet had a very good, apparently, photographic memory, would always paint from memory. Oh, how so, yeah, so it's a, and that's great all, for an actor, isn't it? That's great for an actor. Yeah. And again, it's all in that part of the limbic system because that's all about memories and creating connections yeah. between cells. What's that? What's here? That's the frontal part of your, of your brain, and that's responsible for some, some other things, mainly motor coordination again. So, actually, to so make what Paul movements. Was doing, walking so, on... yeah, so it's a bit of a bit between that part of the brain, the, there, and the front. Which bit did they do my lobotomy on? Which bit was that? <laughs> I'll take that, oh, I'll take that bit <laughs> out. I remember that yes, vividly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's fascinating. I see, isn't it amazing oh, yeah. what goes on in there? It's it's just, you know? Extraordinary. Yeah. Thank you very no much for coming on the yeah. show. Ladies and gentlemen, that's in effect. Thank you. Thank for more brain facts, go to our website. Up next, the start of the new X-Men film, Danny Houston and OC's big surprise. So don't go anywhere. See you after the break.